guys and welcome back to Griplands part two. Now I'm Carrie and we are going to be taking this journey together and hunting Kashio in the Griflands and let's see how well we can be as a grifter. Now if you remember from last time we were deciding on what to do in order to get rid of Chake who's the one of the workers here. The mission was uh that we need to make Chake lose their job. And we have different routes that we could take. We could talk to Sentru. We can ask Gura to leave us alone while we're persuading Chake. Or we could get into a fight with him and potentially kill him. Uh, we also have a party member named Queek, who is a Jake stock hand. And if we do not get into a fight, hopefully Queek will be able to help us out with that. But if not, I think I decided to go more of the negotiation route in order to get Chake fired. So I could either convince Chake to quit the job himself or I could get Sentru to fire him. I personally don't really want him to know that I had any part in this, so <laughs> I'm gonna <laughs> stick with this. So what brings you back? I'm gonna convince Sentru to fire Jake. And I have Queek as backup over there, so. Hey, you the boss here? I'd like to file a complaint about Chake. Ugh, not this again. Let's hear it. What did Chake do now? Don't like it? Shove off. Okay, so... Again, right just with negotiation battles, as far as this goes. She's already flustered. And she's gonna do 3 damage to me, so that's perfect. I'm going to actually block her. Set up my influence here and try to already attack her. Right. And so far, this is going good. I like how my flourish meter is going up higher, and it'll go up higher based on the things that you do. So, one times multiplier by a card played, 0.5 by damage being dealt, by damage mitigated, and also times two if an argument is destroyed. I have one more action left. I could do that. But I don't need to quite yet. Quick thinking. I might do the quick thinking. And do a negotiation cardigan. Because it is super high. So. Nice. Alright, now I can end my turn. Okay, what did she get? She got something else over here. Grindstone. So, targets opon an opponent's argument each turn for 1 for 1 damage. Alright, so and Flustered is still helping me out here, because I'm pretty sure this would be higher. But... Let's protect myself again. And I'm going to try to get rid of this. Okay, shucks. That didn't do anything. Alright, let's try it one more time. There we go. Okay. Um, I should be... Okay, I should be perfect. Because it did take down one of my composure over there, but it should be alright. Okay, she got another one. <laughs> okay. Well, so now that's going to deal damage of six. And I can't attack this. And she's going to get a shield. Great. Alright, so I might do this, so that way I can do this, because I like that card. And I'm going to apply Composure to protect myself from that attack, and I'm going to also do that. That way I will be protected from her, and she will do no damage to me whatsoever. Oh, okay, perfect. Oh, dang. So, increasingly, she is starting to get more and more damage for this. So, I want to see if I can get rid of this one. So, it did do one damage and it took off this for me. But, hopefully I can avoid... Avoid getting hit by this. 
try that again. I'm gonna stack that. So that should cover me. Okay, perfect. Okay, what is this? When destroyed, Sal's core argument gets 10 composure. Nice. Oh, and that thing got higher damage. <laughs> perfect. <laughs> Okay, so I'm going to apply to Composure. Nice. And then I can double Composure. So that'll save me from that, and I'll get rid of this. Okay, so that should be good. And then I also want to destroy that. So I have to destroy that maybe on the next turn. Because her attacks are getting much higher. Dang. Okay, wow. She's really targeting me here. Okay, I'm gonna destroy this. Okay, and that was perfect. Alright, I'm gonna improvise a card. I'm gonna insert another flustered for her. So that'll bring her her damage down at least. Alright, progress. Slow progress, but we're getting there. Okay, she defended over there. That got hurt a little bit. But that's alright. Okay, let's do this. Oh, she's really attacking over there. Okay. I can get rid of this one. I should definitely defend, though. Okay, so let's try. So I'm gonna lose this part over here. Which is fine. I'm just trying to make sure I mitigate a lot of the damage that I'm gonna take on this one. Because I won't be able to get rid of that. And that, well, that is stacking up, so. so. I'm just gonna protect myself over here. Okay. So I did take a couple damage on that one. Ooh, I need to end this quickly. Okay. I might have to take some hits on this one, because. That does not look good. Okay. Well, I should definitely get rid of this one. Because that's going to do the most damage to me. And yeah, it's starting to build up, as you can see. And let's go straight for this, I think. Okay, so I'm going to get hit pretty hard with this one. Okay, let's try to take some of this down. I know it says draw a card, but I want to level up this card here. So. Let's destroy this. Okay. I really want to get rid of her other part. This is hard. This is going not good. <laughs> this is not going good at all. I'm gonna try to destroy this actually. Three composure to here. And let's double all of that. Let's see. Hopefully I can get something. Oh no. Well, I have better chances to try and destroy this. Oh, thank god. <laughs> I might be saved. Who knows? Oh, gosh. Okay, I'm barely alive. Barely alive. This is not a good argument to get into. We were going so good yesterday. Well, this is why your deck needs to be balanced and you need to be able to adjust to all of these different things that are happening i'm pretty much going to die over here 
so like there's no way for me to combat and protect from that so this is this is hard to get rid of I'm not sure how to get rid of that because I don't think I can even attack that yeah see so this is something I can't even attack I probably just needed to focus on this and try to get rid of that as fast as possible but hey you live and you learn right mm. so I mean there's not much that I can do really I'm just trying to give her as much damage as possible and I could use the flourish so it'll dismiss all her intents and maybe it might save me. Yeah, I got rid of everything here, but not everything on the outside, so... I could have saved that for later, but... You know, just so you guys could kind of see what happens. So that flourish that Sal starts off with always gets rid of this inside ring here. And I thought it would get rid of this outside, but it did not. So I'm gonna take a lot of damage, and I'm gonna lose this negotiation. <laughs> So, at least I got health back. So you see, I'm very displeased with Jake's service and I... Alo put you up to this, didn't she? You know she just wants Jake fired because Alo and I used to be a thing. Jake was the one who convinced me I could do better. I ain't gonna fire a friend. Tell Alo she is still a slime ball. Okay, so... Quite an interesting backstory that we have here. Ugh, but this turned out to be a lot harder than I thought it would have been. But, you know, again, right, this is a challenging quest. So I don't necessarily need to proceed to do anything right now, especially because with my resolve being what it is. So I can go back to the Grog and Dog. We do have still some money over here. And so possibly I could uh, raise my resolve level by buying a drink. So, and at least with fish, it is a 50% discount. So instead of paying 30 shills, I only pay 15. So that hits the spot. Gain 15 resolve, but I also do gain these cards when, um, and they get added to my negotiation deck. There, and so I can buy another drink to restore some more of resolve. I get some more cards to add to my deck. But you know that they're, they're, they're not that bad, and then I might just try to fill up my resolve meter here. Even though I'm now do not have any money whatsoever. But it cl could be close to the end of the day already in my quests. So I. I can't talk to her anymore, but, you know, of course, she obviously was the harder route to try to, you know, convince her. But I can also just talk to him directly and convince him. If not, it will have to end up being uh, an attack here. <laughs> hopefully, I, hopefully, he's not going to be as hard-hitting as uh, Sentry was. So, you've returned. Man, you work here? It's kind of a dump, ain't it? Is it? There's only one way this can go. Alright, what do we got here? If destroyed, gain four metal at the end of Jake's turn. Remove one metal. Oh, he's getting rid of my metal up here. Um, well, I, I have a lot to spare, so... Reduces damage by 33%, so the flustered. So this seems to be okay, hopefully. I'm gonna start with this. And I'm going to deflect. Let's see, I have two actions left. So I might just do this card here. Yeah, I don't care about that. Let's just get rid of him. <laughs> I want to get rid of him. I, I, I want to end this battle as quickly as possible based on top of the other battle that happens, so. 
This says suspicion. Diplomacy cards deal negative one damage with a minimum minimum of one. Okay, so I should probably get rid of that. And I'm gonna apply composure again. Level up my card there. Uh, I might save that for later. And I'm going to try to get rid of this. I wish I could draw more cards, but unfortunately I got the slurred speech card. Mm. So I could just... Uh, maybe I'll just do this card in order to level up this card. So I'll play this and then I'll level up this card some more. And I'll end my turn with that. Okay, so I lost a medal there, I guess. And now he's back to striking me with five. And these are further arguments that are going to be coming up, so I should definitely take care of those. I'm going to gain two influence. Okay, I need to double my composure and all my arguments. Try to protect myself from him. And let's try to bring that down a little bit at least. I'm going to get hit a little bit by that. But that's not too bad. Oh, I really like that. The bone tired. Bone tired is nice. Okay. I might have just attacked him for that. Okay, nice, that was awesome. Please give me another one. <laughs> give me another one. Okay, I'll apply composure. So even though I'll lose this, yeah, I'll I'll lose that, but it it won't hurt me over there. So okay, I'll try this. I could deploy a bait. Or apply three composure. All right, let me try that because then I can actually save this. So, all right, so that actually puts me at protection for everywhere. All right, nice. Okay. Ugh, I hate this impatience one. This impatience one always kills me. And then he's gonna. Great, apply composure to an argument. Okay, so there's no way for me to protect myself. I can only try to beat him up as much as possible. Okay, so that has composure there. And then I'm gonna try to get rid of him here. This threaten card is a bit better. Nice, that was a good one. But I'm gonna be hit with this for four, so I'll be at 31. And he had four guard over there. His impatience is stacking up higher, so his attack is definitely getting higher. I just wish that we could also destroy this, but I mean, you know. Just saying. Okay, let's do that. I'm going to apply three composure here. And let's just double it. That way I'll be protected and then I can try to attack that. Alright, nice. Okay, and that's all we can do with that. Oh, dang, this keeps getting bigger. Oh, perfect, perfect. What is this? Gain one stack whenever a card is played at 10 stacks. Style is de dealt. 10 resolve damage if this argument is removed. Okay, no thanks. I... <laughs> <laughs> no thanks. I'm going to get rid of this. And now you're going to die. So, Alright, at least I won this argument, even though I wasn't able to convince Sentru about her argument. So that's alright. Guys, I can pick another negotiation card. Hmm. So I've s I have this one. I've seen this card before too, but I didn't pick it. 
the know-it-all card. Gain three smarts and one vulnerability. So you gain an extra action at the start of your turn and then reduce smarts by one. Nice. Okay, I think I actually will take that because I need more actions. <laughs> I need more turns. <laughs> oh yes, and so I have a couple upgrades for some of my cards. So it's always good to play all your cards so that way you can build up that leveling for them. It's just, you know, a good practice to do. Um, and hopefully I'll destroy these cards when I go to bed later on. But so this card, Deflection, I could apply for Composure. I could apply for Composure to all friendly arguments. Well, that actually might be nice because it'll apply for Composure to everything, hopefully. Okay, so I'll take that. Fast Talk. Hmm, gain three Composure. Or spend one influence. This card now costs zero to play. So do more damage. And not have an action. Or get composure. So, I, so because I don't have that many defense cards. To protect myself and my composure. Like I literally have what three. Like I wish I could get more. Because <laughs> protection is important. Protecting yourself is important. So... I think I might do that. I just will gain composure and protection. And what is this one? Okay, so same thing. Same upgrade that we can do here. So I, I, I'm going to stick with this again. So I just need that extra protection. Turn metal. And restore health. Some of your skill set can do better elsewhere, right? There's got to be loads of opportunities available. You could get a job with benefits, or heck, even a raise. Hey, hey, you know what? I could, yeah. Jake throws his work badge on the ground. I'm desirable, I'm skilled. I don't gotta stand for this. The future's the limit, baby. Jake saunters off to enjoy his newfound freedom, but not before throwing a rude gesture towards his colleagues. Okay, well, Jake, I mean, okay. Alright. Well, I guess it worked out. Yeah, he, he didn't end up liking me or hating me, but, you know, I'm, gl I'm glad that it worked out for him. You go, dude. You do you. Alright. Let's head back to the Slurping Snail. Hopefully I'll get paid, because I'm running out of money. Alright, Olo. You crazy girl. Alright, here we go. Job's done. Jake's out of work. Well, that's great news. Hey, meet Pluck. She's gonna do a real bang-up job. Maybe Sentry will finally be able to get some rest and not have to clean up, clean up after others anymore. Nice to meet you. Thanks for the job. Now get to work, you lazy on Oshnu. And I get paid for 75 shills, and I get 2 metal. Oh, and then she likes me. Nice. So I have an Admiralty Guard, a Foreman, a Smuggler, and a Heavy Laborer. So. Nice. That was perfect. Oh, and then of course I get the Graft for doing uh, this harder quest. This challenging quest. Okay. So as far as my Graft spots go... They're all empty <laughs> for negotiation and for battle. Good thing I have not had to get into any fights just yet. And I do have backup just in case. But these are all negotiation graphs here. So I have Myland Buffer. Gain 6 max resolve. Clugger. At the start of your turn, steal up to 4 composure from a random opponent argument. Oh, well that sounds kind of interesting. Hmm. Distressor. Vulnerability is twice as effective against your opponent. Okay, I don't, I don't really play vulnerability that much, to be honest. I mean, it's nice. It, it reduces their opponent's attack power, right? But this, this one, honestly, is the most interesting for me. Because that means at the start of every turn, you'll steal for composure. If, if they have composure, right? This one, I'm not sure. Because that means I'll, I'll just get six more. Which, I mean, mine is 
not that low as far as arguments go. Most people, I guess, are like at the 30 to 25. And of course, the really hard ones are at like the 40 to 60 levels. So I don't necessarily think I need to do this. I could decline and just get, gee, like 30 shells. But I, I think this actually might be beneficial to me. So I'm going to install this. And I installed it into my brain. And it should be good to go. I can also sell this too later on. Um, so it just depends. So see you later. Okay. Oh, finally. Okay, so it is nighttime. Thank goodness. And apparently Fish has a job for me over there. But I do have two opportunities here. And this is the metal vendor. So we talked about having these metal, which is those... uh. Kind of like your, what should we call it? I don't remember how I described it in the previous video, but it it's basically how other people perceive you or your like your legend that you leave behind. So I have quite a bit that I've saved up. I don't know how I got that much, but apparently I haven't been going to the metal vendor to spend my metal. Um, and then if you're just playing the game from the beginning you have to encounter the metal vendor in order to be able to get to the metal shop so let's see what is this over here your friend Dell has a gift for you and this is in uh, get an enfeebling ray so this will actually apply to impair when I'm in a battle and it will draw another card after I use it, and it will be destroyed after I use it twice. So, um, yeah, I don't know. Uh, it, it, we'll, we'll see what the other opportunity is. Desolate battlefield. This opportunity will disappear if you don't seize it. Looks like the remains of a recent skirmish. Perhaps there's still something to loot. Okay, well, so, yeah, the, I'm not going to take that. I might go take my chances on some loot here. So let's take a peek, sees. We come across the signs of a recent battle. If there were any winners, they weren't the type to loot the battlefield. The bodies are still fresh. Best to grab something and run before any beasts are drawn to the bloodshed. Ooh. Alright. Let's see here. I could grab a vial of slurry, which gives me an action, but I can buy these from the vendors. So... You can notice it says on the side that I can do this quickly. So if I am able to do it quickly, that means I won't attract any attention from other things that are in the area. I do have backup though. So if something attacks me, I have backup. Uh, this will take some time. So I can search the crates for a rock whistle. So a rock whistle summons a rock to fight for you until the end of the fight. You can replenish the card and draw another card afterwards. And then after three uses, it will be destroyed. And this will make you vulnerable. So pull first blood out of the mud. So it is a battle graft. So it will take up one of my graft slots here. But first blood, it says your first attack each battle deals an extra four bleed. Mm. It seems like it's worth it. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry to say, but I, I like bleed attacks. Bleed attacks are helpful. Especially when you can start stacking the bleed on top of opponents um, and it does extra four so on top of a card will that will give bleed to opponent you get another extra four on top of that so let's say if your bleed count was already two and then now you can do four so all right i i know i'm definitely going to be attacked by something so hopefully what i'm attacked by is just something uh, small okay so i installed that you wrestle with the loot lodged in the mud, even as a mournful howl cuts through the air. It isn't long before you're joined by the pack. Oh yeah, so we got attacked by some wild rocks over here. But there's only two, which is not bad. And I think Queek will be able to help me. So let's get this started. First battle, first battle ever that we're doing. And so battle schematics are very similar to when you're doing negotiation if you're looking at my battle deck you basically well these these are from <laughs> these are from drinking too much <laughs> but you have attack cards you have defense cards and then of course you have other cards that 
our maneuver cards or item cards. So because I bought this earlier, these hardy noodles, where I can gain two actions. But I don't really want to spend it on this fight because this will be destroyed. So, and I'm not sure when I'll be able to get it again. Um, this is another card that Cell has, which is her hammer cards. So, it will basically... So there's a bleed card on that side for saber grip and then the hammer grip. So I'll deal two bonus damage if I have any combo. Uh, which I guess, you know, can't stack up for that. But yeah, pretty simple deck. But yeah, pretty simple deck that we have going on over here. Okay. Apparently, uh, somebody's trying to call me. <laughs> I'm going to just take a quick pause for a moment, answer this phone call, and see what's going on. <laughs> So, but yeah, that's Sal's battle deck that we have over here. Alright, let's get back to the battle. And from what I can tell, so I don't quite know what she might do for this round. It, it's possible for your uh, companions to either defend and protect you or to attack. Uh, and you can't necessarily control them. What they're going to do is what they're going to do. But let's see. For her, she has cruelty. So she actually, for her attacks, will apply one wound if it's not defended. She also gains one power at the start of the battle because of her species. Or her type. I'm just a plain human being, so... And power, so her attack damage is increased by one. And for me, I have the extra four bleed. And apparently, though, they are all going to attack me. <laughs> so you can tell by the arrows or up here how much damage you're going to be taking from these two animals here. Now, if you notice, they have these little m mountains, I guess, on the side of their 
are right right above their health bar and so that's actually the panic option so panic basically is if, so if she gets panicked so that means her, if her health bar dips below and enters this white area here so it, basically it's 41 hits of point damage in order for her to go into panic so she will either flee the battle or she will not attack she would just be petrified um, and I'll basically be the one trying to defend her or trying to you know kill these guys off now you can panic these guys here as well so instead of you killing them they will just most likely run away um, but for other opponents that are actually you know characters in the game when they enter panic mode you can have the option to execute them or you could let them live right of course execution is not always the best route because some people have friends and they will definitely hate you if they kill your friend um, Let's see. So these rocks also have evasion conditions. So you dodge the next hit and remove one evasion when you dodge when you dodge a hit and at the start of your turn. Okay. Well, so what I want to try first is try to protect myself against some of this damage. Unfortunately, I do not have a lot of defense cards. So I'm going to just try to apply defense to myself. So I have at least four. It'll get rid of this one, but I'll still take three damage there. And ooh, I'm gonna apply some bleed because, you know, I have the four extra bleed on top of there. So I'm gonna attack this guy. And he evaded. <laughs> Great. <laughs> and well, we, you know, we'll just keep going. We'll keep trying this again here. Okay. And I could have used my fight dirty card, but that's okay. I. I want to try to do some damage here and let's end my turn okay so I knew that was coming okay nice okay they're still trying to attack me oh so I might just have to stack up my defense here in order to protect myself from that and at least she attacked and I got to defend it. Okay, so now they're starting to split up everything, which is a lot nicer. Thanks, guys. Um, and then she obviously will deal two damage to that guy there. And again, I don't have any defense cards, so I'm going to get hit for this one here. But let's try to get rid of this guy, if possible. So that way he'll start to enter the panic. So close. I only needed two more strikes. Okay, nice. Okay. So, he'll only attack me then. Great. Alright. So, I'm gonna apply some more defense to myself. So that I can protect myself. And then, let's do some damage here. Okay, nice. That was a good hit. Okay. I wish I had some healing cards too. So some cards that you can buy will heal you as well. Um, because I'm already down by 10 points. But Okay, so I guess he is not attacking this round. He might just apply some defense to himself. Unfortunately, I don't have a lot of defense, I mean, attack cards in order to attack him. So I'm going to do this card first. And let's see. These are attack cards as well. So I'm going to use the bleed. So that's nice. And well, I, I just have to use one of these defense cards. But that's okay because it'll raise its level progress bar. Okay, yeah. So he stacked three defense on top of himself there. Let's see. So I think I will be able to get him to leave. Nice. Alright. So it didn't take any further damage. Thank goodness. Okay, I can pick a battle card. I get victory medal. And I can restore some resolve. So, nice. I'll get some of this back. Hmm. Alright, let's see. We've got two attack cards and one maneuver card. So this, this uses two action points. Okay. Huh. 
Deal bonus damage equal to twice the cost of your hand. It doesn't do that much damage, though. Okay, well, we got Tackle. Gain two defense, apply one impair. I actually like that a lot better. If I get defense, and I also apply an impair. And it does pretty decent damage. Okay, size up. Draw two cards, gain combo equal to their combined cost. Combo points are accumulated until they are spent by a finisher. Lose half of your combo one where you take damage. Yeah, so I, I again, I don't think I have any finish cards inside of my deck. So I'm not going to be really looking at doing combos. So I might take this card here. Nice. And I'll get my victory medal and I will restore some resolve. Awesome. The bodies are growing ripe and more scavengers are sure to be on their way. Best to cut while you're ahead. Yep, it was worth it though. I think that was worth it. Alright, I do want to go to see the metal vendor because I do have a lot of metal and I have some prestige points to spend on flourishes as well. I'm here for metal. You always are. Okay, so I'm going to spend some metal here. Alright, I'll have a look. Okay, so right, metal points are the ones that Sal earns and they're only available to herself. Use it to make Sal progressively more skilled. You can earn more metal by completing certain quests, killing specific targets, and defeating particular arguments. Yeah, so if you notice, there is a lot of metal that you can use and you can spend. I, again, this is a game that I have been trial running and I have been playing. So I have already spent some of these in order to increase and help myself throughout the game because it's very difficult when first starting off. Um, but let's see, increase maximum health and resolve, start the game with additional money, S basic battle cards start with bonus experience, basic negotiation bonus experience, recover resolve after every, ba every battle, recover health after every negotiation, battle graph start with bonus experience, negotiation graph starts with bonus experience, flourish gained in combat is increased. Flourish gained from damage in combat is increased. So yeah, these are just different things that you can use here and spend your metal on. Mm. Skipping card drafts grants additional skills. Oh, pets. Okay. Eating. Okay. So I have 44. I could increase my health and my resolve. That would help me out a lot throughout the game. And that would take me straight up to 40. So, I think I might do that. Alright, so now my health and everything else should be a lot higher. Oh, thank goodness. That's so much better. May grow stronger each day. Nice. Thank you so much, Metal Vendor. I'm also going to look at the flourishes as well. Um, but let's ask her about some things. I have so many questions. So asking her about metal will lead you to this conversation. What is metal anyway? Metal is a measure of how tough you are. Once you have it, nobody can take it away from you. Not even death. Oh, so it's a spiritual thing? Only, if only you were so lucky. <laughs> yeah. And then we know how to get metal. From, it's from battles and negotiations. And well, what about flourishes? So what's a flourish? It's a power that builds up within you to be used in times of great crisis. Can I learn this from you? No, I can't teach you anything. I just help you unlock what's already there. Oh. Yeah. So... Let's try to look and see what flourishes we have here to unlock. I want to learn something new. Okay, so there are battle flourishes and then negotiation flourishes. Um, Sal's negotiation flourish is this one, which is Trounce. So this one is the odd one that's already unlocked. And it dismisses all enemy intents. So that's inside of the inner circle, which I did use earlier. 
Um, and it did not help me win the battle, but that's okay. It will help in times of great need. Um, we have our battle flourish here, though, which is it attacks all enemies twice. So this is the basic one that she gets. I did unlock this one here, which is Hemomancy. And you apply 16 bleeds, split it evenly among all enemies. Yeah. So unfortunately, I don't have quite enough flourish points yet but I think it would be good to kind of see if I could get maybe one of these negotiation flourishes next time um, restore 10 resolve discard your hand oh, okay maybe not this one but uh, gain 5 Im influence and apply 5 composure to it gain 3 dominance and improve a hostility card from your pack yeah so I might, yeah, take a look at one of these instead of one of your battle ones, just to kind of balance it out, make it even. But I'm not quite there yet. I need another prestige point. Okay. Well, we'd spent pretty much all of our metal. We gotta accumulate it again. Um, it's important to end things well. And so we'll see you later, metal vendor. Well, I have to go now. Until we meet again. All right pretty much the end of the day here so I'm gonna go back and see fish at the grog and dog hopefully nothing and okay good nothing ambushed me <laughs> on the way there fish greets you enthusiastically Sal I've lined up a great opportunity for you those two over there are night merchants they sell rare goods you can't get it nowhere else and it just so happens they need your help. You can only be in one place at a time, but either will get you a leg up you sorely need, kid. Go tell him I sent you, and ingratiate yourself. Just be warned that they're both persnickety so-and-sos. You're probably going to cheese off the one you don't pick. Hmm, sounds neat. Thanks, fish. Oh, fish, I love you so much. Thank you for working so hard for me. <laughs> Alright, but let's see. Who who we got in the bar? We got the Bouncer, Leaky, oh, I remember you, Grex, and Trina, who's the shopkeeper of one of the other places in Murder Bay. Oh, I remember you, Sentru. Hello again. I could share a drink with her and then she will like me, but I, I don't have that much money right now. <laughs> Don't have that much money right now. Okay. Um, Eloman. And then we got, of course, our two night market fellas over here. Not necessarily fellas, but girls. Or men. Girls are men. I want to speak to Fish really quick, though. Pull up a seat. That stool's not too soggy. So I could buy cards from her. I could buy a drink in order to restore my resolve, but I don't need to. I could eat one of her famous fish cakes, which heals me for 30... And I give her 25 shells. It also gives me the bloated card. But I don't need to heal up right now. Um, I want to see what cards she might have for sale. Oh, that's nice. Heal for 10 during battle. Yeah, so I might just take that for future use. And I could also do the b vial of slurry as well. Because I have some money. Not a lot of money, but... Maybe not right now. I'll, I'll, I'll just take the healing cell for right now. Okay, and so if we talk to Endo, then Rake will despise us. And if we talk to Rake, then Endo will despise us. So, so he will ask us about some wildlife management. And Rake needs some help getting a loan extension. Okay. So... Just a heads up that depending on who you take, they do sell different things inside of the night market. And so when that person dislikes you because you helped the other person, obviously, uh, they will increase their prices in the night market. So it depends on, you know, what you what you want to buy at the night market because the person who likes you will also decrease the prices that they have. Um and you know it's just one of those things that when first playing the game you don't know 
who to really pick and who to really take. And then, of course, later on when you get to the night market, it's like, oh, well, you know, it either was good for you or it was a bad opportunity for you. So, if I, re I, I might have to look this up to, to try to remember what Rake and what Endo did. Um, I don't think... I think he mainly deals with, if I recall, negotiation cards, I believe. I, I do not remember what Rake does. But as far as the other vendors that are there, because there, there's two others. So they do random a random generation of who you're going to get for this specific quest. But the other two, one is, I know it's a Beast Master. So it's kind of sad that I didn't see him out of these two guys to pick. But, you know, that's a game. Um, and then the other guy or girl is... Um, she basically does graphs. So I, w I would have also gone for her because then you could have discounts on top of all the graphs that you could buy. Um, but I'm not sure. I think this person might do graphs too. So one might be like battle graphs and one might be negotiation graphs. I don't I don't think so. I think she's the only one who does graphs. So out of these two, from what I understand, this Endo probably does the negotiation cards and Rake probably does the battle cards. So uh, I think my negotiation deck is honestly pretty good. But I I need some I need some help in the battle department. <laughs> Probably down, further down the line because you're gonna have to fight eventually. You can't always talk your way out of things So I'll just talk to Endo first kind of see what the job is so you guys can kind of get a view for what he wants you to do And then I'm gonna take Rake's job after third so Either Endo's got a smudge on his nose or the call of the divine has turned his gaze within Come to distract me from my drink best have a good reason I can ask him about this special job. Hey, I'm a friend of Fish's. How can I help? Fish tells me you're pretty good with a blade. I get by. Sounds like you need something stabbed. Is it with four legs or two? Hmm. Yes. Let's just call it an infestation. And it's getting in the way of my good deeds. I'll get you there and you... Flash your steel or whatever it is hunters do. Agreed? And so you can ask him further about what the job is going to be. Or the market, I guess. What's so special about this market anyway? It operates uh, outside of Admiralty supervision. So you get quality goods with minimal taxation. And how does the Admiralty feel about this? Hunter, please. I'm a Hessian. I don't give a squat what the Admiralty feels about anything. Eloquently put, priest. Okay, well, so I'm not going to accept his job. It's been a long day, and that sounds like a lot of work. Rain check? I don't have that luxury, but you'll go your way and I'll go mine. Okay, so, I mean, you know, just depends again on strategically which person you want in order to like you so that way they bring their prices down but anyway <laughs> let's go talk to rake rake is never one for surprises out in the chill of the night best cover your neck and not for fear of catching cold all right so what's your special job hey stranger fish says you're looking for help yes i am you see Normally, I just punch my problems until they stop moving, but some problems are too big to punch. So what can I do for you? I run a little combat training operation, but I need an extension on my debts, or I might have to close up shop. If you help me buy a little more time, I'll take you to our secret market. You can get your hands on good goods. Okay, so I can ask further. Ask about her debt. How much do you owe, anyway? I've lost track, to be honest. I just try to make the minimum payments. But it's never enough. Kasho just keeps cranking up the interest. If I had a head for numbers, I might be able to figure it out. 
Wait, the debt broker is Kashio? Well, yeah, mine and every other sad sucker in Murder Bee. I only ever talk to her proxy, though. Why? You know her? She, uh, has a reputation. Even back on the Derrick. And you know I'm in big trouble if I don't pay her back. Hmm. So this might also be a little bit more appealing because our, our main end goal is to get close to Kashio and to kill her, right? For putting us into slavery. Um, so I am going to take her job. So she joins my party. But Endo unfortunately does not like me. So if I go to talk to him later on in the night market, he will have super ridiculous and expensive prices. <laughs> Sounds like we have a deal. Lead the way, and I'll do the talking. Beauty. Thanks, Hunter. Hesh does not forget Grifter, and neither will I. Rake joins you. Well, I'm sorry, Endo, but I honestly have to pick somebody. So, If I could, if I could pick you, I, I, you know, and not make everybody unhappy, then I would. So he's the only person that... I think dislikes me right now. Yeah, so hopefully it does not get into the hate category here, but no, hopefully not. You think it's smart bothering me? Alright, alright, I'll leave you alone. Okay, and so it seems like our quest is here at the beach. Blood from stone. Alright, hopefully uh, it's not going to be too much. It won't lead into a battle. Because my health is lower than my resolve up here. So let's see how this goes. Rake leads you to a desolate beach. Here's the place. You remember, we can't fight our way through this. Trust me, I've tried. With that warning, you're joined by a merchant with a stiff collar and a sneer to match. I'm here for the money, Rake. Kashio's tired of excuses. And who the hesh are you, hard muscle? Let's not be hasty. Okay, so... I can convince him to extend the loan. Opponent has 10 plus resolve because it's about business. I can offer to beat him up. Or we can back down. But if we do this, we will lose the quest. And we will not be able to get to the night market. So... Oh, and I still have Queek a part of my... Nice. I still have Queek a part of my <laughs> my uh, team here. Well, let's let's see what happens if he says this. You reach for your blade and Rake stops you. I told you, I've tried that. Sure, we could beat this one up, but Kashio will send more. I hired you for your words, not your knives. Ha, huh, typical. Now where's the money? Okay, so, I mean, yeah, that's, that's not an option. So, we're just going to have to do this with... Uh, our resolve that we have so hopefully we'll be able to do this Rake needs just a little more time the union stands with Sal just listen okay all right so we got a lot of flustering going on so a stack of four over there uh, and Hopefully, hopefully this, this goes well. Hopefully I'm able to, <laughs> hopefully I'm able to get rid of his argument and destroy it. So this card costs zero. I need to protect myself. And let's see. Calm, nope. Well, so I should have saved my composure card. Because this one would have given me three composure anyway. Well, so let's try this. Okay, so nice. I'll save this maybe for later. And then let me just keep attacking him. So I'm really protected on that front. And... So it wants me to use this card, but I'm not going to use the card, so. Nice. Okay. Ugh. 
So because he's a merchant, they usually deal these types of negotiation cards where they are, you have to pay money. So it's not really a heavy damage dealer, but hopefully those don't end up inside of your hand. Okay, I'm going to build rapport. Okay. And I might just attack him because this will give me three composure anyway. See, it's always good to have some defense going on. And I'm just going to threaten him. All right. So far, we're good. So far, we're protected. No damage so far. Yeah, okay, I keep getting these cards, though, every single turn from him. All right. So, let's see. What is this? When destroyed, Sal gains... Draw one extra card at the start of your turn. Nice. So, he's trying to attack this, which will destroy that. So I'm going to protect this first. And, of course, I get another one of these, which sucks, but I'll destroy this. And so I will get another card for my turn. And then I'm going to just threaten him. So, oh, that was nice. Okay, yes. Alright, so if possible, you don't want to get too many of these, because then you will have to use it. So these, yeah, so if you have nothing else that you can do, you might have to end up using those. So try not to. Try not to. Okay, I'm going to get three smarts. And I'm going to do this. And I will gain two influence. And then I'm going to try to double composure. So I will still get hit for three, but at least I don't have to use any of these where I have to pay money. <laughs> oh, okay, and so I didn't see that card there. So that card will damage you for eight. But at least it is... Ho hopefully I don't see it again. So Okay, so they're going to attack here. I'm going to use this. So that's now a stack of six. Okay, I could apply four composure to all friendly arguments. I have an extra action point. So maybe I might be able to kill him. Because this will uh, deal additional three. Okay. And get him for that. Shucks. Maybe I can draw a card. Oh, maybe I can kill him. Yes, nice. Okay, so I didn't lose too much, but that was more than I thought I would lose there. Negotiation. Okay, non sequitur. Your next card this turn costs zero. Okay, we got that card before. Abrupt remark. Draw one card. Evoke. An opponent argument is removed or destroyed. Unplayable. So once per turn, this card, you play this card for free from whatever it is when the specified requirements are met. Mm. See, my deck is getting a little bit big. But I can destroy cards as well, so. I might try to take this card. See how it plays out. And then I have to improve these cards here. So fast talk. I could do six, but then it gets destroyed. Or I can just do the draw card. So I'm just going to keep it at drawing a card. Because it's always nice to increase and keep drawing. And then, oh, my build rapport card. So. Gain two influence and apply three composure. Or gain three influence and apply three composure. Or do an ambush. What is ambush? Automatically placed in your hand at the start of negotiation. Um, I honestly like building the influence because then it just continues to help me in dealing damage. 
so I might do that. Earn some metal and restore some health. Thank goodness. A living customer is a paying customer, and that's what you want, isn't it? Yeah, provided she'll actually pay. Fine. I'll give Rake another week. But after that, Lily slinks into the night, leaving nothing but his threat behind. A week, Hesh. That really saves my skin. You have no idea. So we're satisfied? Satisfied, relieved, ready to party. You name it. Let's go to the night. Let's get to the night market, huh? We have something to celebrate, you and I. All right, nice. And I'm going to just go to the night market and then we will finish up the video for today. So the night market is located here. This is it, huh? Pretty modest. Hey, you want fancy or you want cheap? This is where folks come to get an edge for a good price. And now you can be one of those people. Rake now likes you and will offer you discounts in her shop. Oh, thanks. And she left the party. Okay, and so as you can see, we do have the four night market vendors here, which we will get into next time. So I will see you guys later. Thanks for playing Grifflands with me, all you grifters out there.